over here. I'm working on it, man. Larissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Oh, jeez. You think you can control me? Clarissa? No. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to Oxenfree. Now, this is exactly where we left off. We just saw Clarissa jump out the window up here and land, and then we came down, and she was gone. That's where we ended it off last time. And I am so loving this game, you guys. It, it's amazing. I'm just... I need to play more of it, so I'm recording the next one right now after the last one. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Oxen Free and other videos. Now, as I was restarting my recording and stuff here, I noticed I saw the photos here. We can go back... Oh, we're only to take two more photos? Alright, so here's the first one. We're just sitting at the well, all happy. Oh no, yeah, no, we didn't see that one. Because this is the first one that we saw, that we took on the boat. Oh, is that her brother? Hmm, I think that's her brother, Michael? Maybe, I don't know. This is at the campfire. So, at the campfire here, this is Clarissa, Ren, that's us, Alex, Jonas, and this is Nona. Alright. This is where the ball was kicking itself. You can't really see. Maybe there's something right there. But this one here in the mirror, look at that. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. So, if you go back a little bit, now that I saw this one... This one looks a little more, you can definitely see it in the small one here. A little bit, it's like the same guy, the same uh, thing right there, but it's, you can see it better here. Anyway, two more pictures to go here. I don't know if that means we're getting towards the end of the game. I kind of expect that we're halfway through the game. We might be a little further, but I'm not really sure. So, let's just continue on here. Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to go head back to Ren here. Help Clarissa. Okay, so we're still helping Clarissa. So we're just going to head into this next door and see what happens. And eventually, I believe, we're probably going to head back over to Ren. And we got to keep our eye out for those stones because we've gotten 4 or 12 because I didn't realize that it was a thing that we could do. These stones right here. These are the anomalies that it's talking about on the map right here. So, anyway, let's continue on. Let's go. Let's just get back to Ren the Calm Tower. Okay. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. So this door was locked last time. Go back to the command tower. Okay, so that's where we're headed right now. Heading back to Ren. Help Clarissa. I guess we didn't. Not that we didn't succeed in it. It just isn't a thing that happened. So this door was locked last time. So this is where we come out. So this is... Yeah, anyway. If you watched the last episode, you know where we're at right now. So... Here we go, back to the comm tower. Oh. Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This is it. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? <sighs> well, now we know how can anyone stand are. to Let's listen to me all day. <laughs> See how they're doing. Yeah. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't <laughs> ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no. She's... I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the... Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Right. Please tell me this is a joke, okay? 
This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... that's not nice. Oh, god. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but... Uh, sorry, I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah, we have. To tell you the truth, Nona, I don't think you really want to know. Alex, don't treat me like a pet. It's okay. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean... The boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Oh, boy. Thank God for that memory. Yeah, finally something positive jarred loose through all the hysteria. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, well, I mean... Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Ren, it's okay. Relax. I like the plan. The plan's fine, Willow. It doesn't matter if the plan is fine. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are you even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh, meathead. Ugh, stop it. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? You've got to be... This is... Are you... You're... No, this isn't hap... This isn't happening. Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, he's been like my sidekick the entire night. He's been... He's been helpful. I thought you were my sidekick. Yeah, and I thought we were more like a team, really. Like doubles tennis or something. Just... Just... <sighs> just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Find the gate key. So, we gotta go down and then back through here and then Main Street. We never went here because that was through the tunnel and the tunnel was 
was uh, blocked off or something. So, let's go. So, I want to... Oh, what can I... Going to be okay here? Feeling better since last time? You going to be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. <laughs> No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Hmm. So, I just kind of saw the red light blink in here, and I know it's a tower, and it's got a red light on it, but red lights in this game have meant that there's something to do with the radio. Okay, nothing. Just wanted to try. Worth a try. All right, so we're going to head all the way back, and I suppose I'll just bring you back when we get over there unless they start talking about something or we find some more rocks or something goes on. I'll bet you that something goes on before we get there. So, I'll bring you back then. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, I, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you asked if I went to jail during the beach game? I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not going to say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but be serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Just, you know... Don't attack me with a baseball bat or anything. <laughs> All right, let's listen to this. In our still young country, and you will be a part of that that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. Whoa. <laughs> it said my name. So let's check this thing out while we're right here. Now that we know we can do the radio lock thing. Not saying that it's going to work on this, but... It's worth a try. This early version of okay, that's just the information thing. Alright. I like this one. I like this music here. Can I leave it on? Okay, maybe I don't like it. <laughs> how, how many of you are there? Alright, I didn't know if it was going to say something else. Alright, so we're still picking up rocks on the way, and we're still going. This is... I want to... This is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't necessarily... I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because... Well, because my mom was Methodist, and... But, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. 
Ugh. Crap, I missed it. Sorry, Jonas. They should give me another couple seconds to read those. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking we is gotta that... go. Oh my God, is that Clarissa? She's well. I was Where? Say okay, but I'm not too sure about oh, that. Oh, right there? Clarissa, oh no, up here. You Whoa. feeling okay? Oh Jesus, she has the. Oh jeez. The thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not. I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> okay, good try. Maybe they want to. Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow. Is that the like point of trying to trying to whatever to talk through us or something? I guess. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Clarissa, how are you uh doing, son? Alex, little help over here. I'm working on it, man. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there? Please? Oh, jeez. You think you can control me? Clarissa? No. Uh, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. What? What more can we do? We're barely holding on to it. What more can you do? You can do your job. That's just for starters. You can be what you signed up for. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is she... okay? Or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady. Just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just been through something. Clarissa, was that... Was any part of you in there just now? In where? What are you talking about? Well, just now, all that stuff about we can't control you or... How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. <sighs> the usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Oh, Wait, it's geez. Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you, are you controlling this? It's uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. There's no reason, Clarissa. Mm -hmm. Alex didn't cause this. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead, and the giant, lit-up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's. Enough, I mean it. Jonas, don't, just don't think of me like. I don't, I won't. But right now we're gonna break into that office and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean no? All the outs in free. So let's, wait, what, wasn't Clarissa Whoa. with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was, it was like she was just here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so 
God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Yep, this isn't budging. While the lock looks, uh, less than modern, let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> All right. Let's this... see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. I'm not sure about this right here. <laughs> um... Ren's a good egg. If he thinks there's something in here, there probably is. I once saw him guess the exact change in his couch cushion down to the nickel. Good for him. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, oh, I what? think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Oh. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back, I'm just gonna, here, this is, to whom? Well, I was trying to listen to the radio. And listen to them. Okay, steal a boat and leave. Okay, so is that what we're doing next? We just need to make our way over here into her house. Oh, man, I only found six of those. I don't want to concern. Go back through the entire her. map yet, this right now. And its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. Wait, isn't she dead? Didn't she die like yesterday or something? It's dated a month ago, but here, just listen. I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. The safety of others? If she's talking about tuning into floating shapes, that ship has sailed. Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself? And then it's just signed, uh... <laughs> I've had... Oh, I've seriously had, like, dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You... We do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. <laughs> of course we're gonna do it. Let's go. So I was trying to listen to this, 140.1. At the top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, field. Colored field. At the top of the hill. The top of the hill in the colored field. What does that mean? In the Charlie. Oscar, Lima, Oscar, <laughs> Alex, Romeo, why are you wearing Echo, that jacket? Delta, it's like 75 field. degrees. The sun's out, you know? At I thought you said hill, you were going to go swimming anyway. The, the sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did oh, we? Clarissa, Michael. I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost 
Step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can fix a broken taillight. No, 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 no. Just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake, back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. It's been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh... <laughs> Are you, like, faking it or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa. Do what you want. No, it does matter. It does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I... I want this to be... good. Michael, uh... he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. <laughs> thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. He just went okay, to the ferry, which was by town. I want the news. I want the <laughs> Alex first edition. What's going on? Um. I'm, uh, doing all right. Yeah? I guess. I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe you'll tell me what it is later. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day. But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... Okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so... That sounds awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. I guess you had to be there then. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Hmm. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. The you fence know, isn't here. That's the stairs jacket. aren't here. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. Paco, you haven't called me that in years. Whoa. Alex, are you alright? 
Okay. 320. Uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped. Then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move. And then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about, like, sandwiches or something. Whole thing was a weird little show, like you were having a stroke or something. I... I was? Yes, you said it doesn't matter what's in it. Potato chips always improve a sandwich. <laughs> it was like to yourself. Whatever. As long as you're back among the living, let's just head to the gate, try the radio. Okay. Where are we? All right. Epiphany Field. Man. Top of the hill? I still don't know what this hint means in this 140.1... Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Turn on the light. Gulf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Aha! There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up, my memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's protestations. <laughs> Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was, of course, thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of Canaloa crewman Francis Salter asked... I don't know why, a marker, maybe, for the hope I once had to help people. Okay. Wait, letters? That's here. One, two, three. There's 12. And I have one. So, all right. Well, that sounds like something we can do next time. So it sounds like that one told me what to do when I was in this screen. So let me come back here. Can I, can I go back? Can I not go back? Hey. Why can I not go back? Oh, come on, really? I want to go back. Oh no, okay. Well, I don't know why. Anyway, this sounds like something fun we could do next time. I want to get to a different area so I can try that again and see what clue we get next time. So, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Oxenfree and other videos. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.